Kakuma refugee camp currently has a population of almost 200,000 people and over 60% of that population are the youth. And the biggest challenge in the camps and the host community has been accessing jobs. And we saw as RET, one of the ways to provide a solution to that is to impart skills, which they use, uh, the youth can use uh, to find jobs online. So that they can work online and also uh, seek for local opportunities. So we as RET, in partnership with USAU, uh, tailored a course which we believe uh, will impart the said skills. I choose to coding because I have uh, more interest in it because it will allow me to achieve my uh, dreams about uh, how to create uh, webs and how to code. The reason I choose this one because I need to build my skill and also to support my community, the knowledge I have when I get from the red. So I will continue to proceed. When I continue my study, I will build relationship with the community and to come up with a good solution. Technology in current world is now help the world to be easy and make everything to be easy. So my uh, dream before I was dream to uh, make uh, to design a program that can help people in the community. That's why I have chose uh, ICT uh, coding and programming. Looking at myself a uh, 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 few months ago before I started coding and where I am today after I've learned coding, I have realized that a lot of things has you know changed in my life. I have now learned uh, to uh, be able to des design, for example, a web. Uh, through this uh, training course, I have also learned how to create uh, console applications, uh, which are uh, applications that give a user graphical uh, user interface. And I think you know the reason why. It's because of coronavirus. This pandemic has affected everyone. Educational institutions were also affected so much. Uh, you know, service sectors were also affected a lot. And we, as a coding class, was not an exception. We were also severely affected until, at some point, we were told to go home. And indeed, yes, of course, we went home. But thanks again to uh, the persistence of uh, Red, the coordination from Gideon and his hard work, we were again. To come for example, uh, through this coding uh, course, I learned how to design a simple, app, uh, you know, temperature applications where a user can be able to uh, maybe calculate uh, temperatures. Uh, in the first time we started, it was go it was flowing, and then Corona came, and it has stopped, and we were like we were about to forget whatever we have been doing. But after we have been given laptops, it has started helping us and we started continuing our classes online through Zoom and lecturers help us really and it was really helpful. Our, our project is at least targeting 20% of the students from the camp and host community to access the we are not targeting a lot, we are targeting at least, at least we can do 20% of the youth to, to access our information, to access our, uh, 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 our website to get the knowledge. Uh, since I've started the course of uh, programming and the red, for sure I've gained a lot of skill and also it has opened for me some opportunities that I was not having before because uh, since I've, I he start learning the programming, especially H, uh, HTML and Java. It helped me also to introduce myself to other programming languages like uh, Python and also C, uh, CSS uh, for designing the website. And I'm, I'm able now to design a website and I'm able also to host that website for myself. Computer coding is essential for nowadays because there is a job opportunities in the world because software engineers are reducing in number nowadays and it's a hard cost. So if you do, you'll get enough jobs. 
so it's not a hard way to pass the community project program i'm working so it's a scholarship youth this is scholarship i come up with because i see some youth they normally stay but they don't have a scholarship like for example the lower grade is starting from c minor below but i come up with this to support them like my objective one by the end of the projects i will come up with a solution to support the a disability especially a disability they are been denied through indication when they complete in high school they will not get a scholarship some of them because they have a uh, a lot of challenges and uh, some of us take it that guarantee when they see a disability they ignore but each and every one have have a great knowledge but when you support him or her we believe that ICT is an equalizer in terms of gender equality and we believe that girls in the refugee camp can do as well as the men okay i had uh, so uh, so much uh, experience working, uh, spending my time with uh, RAID. Uh, first of all, I got to interact with so many things, like uh, for example, uh, how to use the apps of uh, like Zoom and how to do with uh, the applications of coding, like uh, brackets, uh, notepad, uh, netsbind, and so on. Uh, Individually, I have learned uh, how to access things online and how to do codings. In the beginning, um, uh, when we started this course, uh, there was no corona and the classes were going on very well. But then after corona came in, uh, it has stopped everything. And at some point, uh, we were unable to continue the classes uh, because uh, there were regulations that were introduced. Uh, in the camp uh, that people should stay at home and not go to school so corona has affected us a lot uh, when the corona pandemic came the government gave a directive that all institutions of learning and all centers where people assemble should be closed our program was affected where we had we were training our, our youth from centers so they would go and access computer labs to learn and when the government gave that a directive we were forced to close however Red managed to procure laptops for his learners to support them continue with learning online. And they continued interacting with the, uh, with the lecturers, USIU lecturers, and they also continued working on the digital projects. But uh, thanks to the Kakuma, uh, Red uh, Kakuma, um, uh, for its persistence, um, it has decided to, uh, to uh, allow those classes to continue, but in a different way. Um, we have taken those classes online in Red. Kakuma decided to provide us some laptops. Uh, those laptops have uh, enabled us to continue our classes uh, online. And uh, it has been an amazing journey, uh, but, you know, for me particularly to have a laptop and continue those classes uh, online. If you want more skills, you still have the team here. We have a lot of resources, uh, we still have their factories from Microsoft, we can share with you Java programming skills from Oracle Academy, all these you can work with us, we can avail you, the professors are there and the skills are there so that you go to the next level because what, to me what you need is the red to facilitate you and the skills that you need so that you can move to the next level. Actually, when I started this um, uh, training, I did not know uh, anything about coding. Uh, I think this course also has uh, changed me. At least now, now I can code at least something. I can do uh, a bit of uh, coding and programming. The most important thing is like when you gain knowledge, you give back to the community. So I'm planning to give what I, whatever Red has taught me to give back to my fellow girls who did not get that chance of enrolling in the Red. So I would like to share my knowledge with them and teach them what is what what does it mean to be a coder. During the course time, I was really enjoying uh, uh, website design, uh, designing uh, a website page using HTML.
uh, for sure it was very interesting for me because I was a dream. My dream was about how I can I be, how can I develop a website that can be useful to the world. We have divided the youth into different groups, and in these groups they are working on different community projects. So in these community projects we have people identifying or the youth identifying the different challenges that they are facing in their camps and they came up with different challenges for which they provided solutions. We have a project where the youth identified uh, the challenge in the health sector where they felt that people normally queue for long hours and at times at the end of the day even end up not seeing the doctor. So they came up with a, with a platform where patients would book for an appointment with the doctors. The elders cannot wait for almost two to three hours, four hours, and here only youth can wait for two, two to three, four hours. Here I'm, here I'm here to help the elders. The elders are facing a lot of challenges in the camp. To access a medical facility is a problem. So this is why I've created this project to help the elders. I've intended to use the, pro the skills I've gained from Ray to implement projects that can help the refugees. They can tell me their problems, I can come with a project because I've been told how to solve problems. Coding helps us to solve problems. I'm working on a project called Doctor Patient Appointment. It's, and its objective is to help the old grandmothers and grandfathers in Kakuma. So we don't want to, uh, to our grandmothers and mothers cannot be staying for a long time in the clinics. So we want them to appoint their doctors online so they come when the, re the doctor is ready. Because in Kakuma, we wait for almost three to four hours lining. So these old people cannot wait. So I want them, this project to help them. Uh, the challenges uh, that we, we, we face, the big, big challenge that we face is the network problem. And uh, sometimes uh, we miss physical interaction uh, between the students and uh, the lecturers. Uh, I think that one was somehow